back here. You've had too much fun in the sun and now you're dehydrated. Stop struggling, this is for your own good. Yeah, that should do it. Just hold still, you'll be all right. Yeah, just let the water soak into your roots. You're fine. Is that better? Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with another houseplant rescue video for you and today I am coming to you from London in the heat wave. I'm filming this at 6.30 p.m. and it's currently 34 degrees as well so we're looking at some very high temperatures here and many of us are struggling in the heat. I know that loads of you have bought fans, you've changed up what you're wearing, you've sweated in places that you didn't know you could sweat from and also our plants are suffering as well. I've noticed that a few of mine are looking a bit sorry for themselves so what I thought I would do is just share with you a few very quick and easy tips that you can do right away. You can do all of this stuff this evening or in the next few days to keep your plants happy throughout the heat wave and it's also a great thing that you could do before going on a holiday or a period of time away from home when your plants might be left out in the summer sunshine. Before we get cracking if you're new here don't forget to hit subscribe. I'm posting new videos every Every single week and please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. And because I've got plants dotted all over the house we're not going to do this one as a sit down video we're going to go and take a look around so come with me. So my first tip is if your plants are right up against the window just move them away a little bit because the sun is very strong at the moment. So let's just bring these away from the window so they're not going to be cooking in the sun. You also want to try to reduce the temperature inside your home as much as possible. If you're feeling like your house is too hot, imagine how your plants are feeling. So maybe try to close off some of the curtains and keep the house really cool during the day, especially during the peak hours of heat and sunshine. That being said, your plants are still going to need daylight. So don't close them off completely because if they're stuck in a dark room, they won't be happy either. You may find that some rooms in your house are cooler than others. So my kitchen's a little bit cooler, for example, because it doesn't get the morning sun. So I've moved some of the plants into here. And take this plant, for example, I can see that this one's not looking too happy. This hydrangea here has started to brown and yellow in certain places. And that, I think, is due to actually a bit of a lack of sunlight and probably not enough water. So what I'm going to do with this is give it a bath of water for 15 minutes so it can soak up plenty of water to bring it back to life. It's very tempting to want to cut these off. I know they look dead, but while it's so hot, we don't want to give our plants any trauma whatsoever. Yellow leaves, flowers dropping off, or anything turning brown are signs of stress and it means that your plant isn't too happy. But that doesn't mean that now is the time to fertilize it or to prune it or to repot it. It's very tempting to do all these things because we think, oh no, the plant needs urgent attention. Let's see to it right away. While we're in these very hot conditions, it's actually best to leave your plants alone. Basically, these signs are all telling us that they're stressed. Imagine how you are when you're stressed, right? The last thing you'd want to do when you're feeling stressed is to go and be prodded about and have various limbs removed or have a load of fertilizer pumped into you or be uprooted from your home and stuck in a new one. I mean, imagine moving house in this heat. You wouldn't want to do it, would you? So basically, the same thing goes for your plants. Now on my rubber plant here, you can see that I've bought one of these water globes. This one came from Poundland. You can get two for a pound. And this fills up with water and this will feed um, it with water so it can just drink that um, when it's thirsty basically. Now you'll notice that the roots are exposed on this plant which is absolutely fine but that's definitely one thing that you would not want to be getting into direct sunlight. You wouldn't want the sun to be scorching those exposed roots. So if you have got any roots that are exposed do be careful and you potentially could just top this up with a bit of soil or some mulch to cover those over and protect them from any harmful UV rays. I guess this bit here is like when you have got that bit in your swimming trunks where you haven't tanned yet and that's the bit that's a bit more pale. So yeah, any sun going on that's gonna burn it. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying here? So yeah, no tan lines down there please. To test the soil, to see if it needs watering, poke your finger in 
couple of centimeters down and if it feels dry we are definitely due water now this is feeling dry so I'm not sure how well this thing's working but what we need to do with our watering in these temperatures is take our time with it you need to allow the water to soak in and then top up a little bit more if you pour it in too fast all that's going to happen is the water's going to run straight down the sides and out the base we want the soil to take on the water if the soil has completely dried out and separated away from the edges of the pot, that means that it may need a good soaking and you may have to stick it in the bath for a good 15 minutes to allow the soil to take on all the water. As I say, otherwise the water is just going to run straight out of the pot underneath and the roots will not get a chance to take it on. You can also use an old bottle as well, just fill it up with water, tip it upside down and shove it into the soil. And the other reason we take our time with the watering is because we do not want to drown the roots. The last thing we want to do, although it's very tempting, is to give them loads and loads of water that they can't cope with and then the roots are just going to be sitting in water and potentially turning rotten. Plants like to be humid and it's a good idea in these kinds of temperatures to give them a misting. I've got my mister here. You could just use any spray container that you may have lying around your bathroom. And if you haven't got anything, honestly, just dip your fingers in some water and flick it over them nice and gently. That will do the trick. While we're here, I thought I would show you a quick succulent baby update. You can see that they're all coming on quite nicely and some of them have grown really big. I'm really pleased with these ones in the middle that were on the leaves that really didn't look like they were going anywhere. So you never know your luck with these. But I've got quite a few um, coming on quite nicely and the original stems have grown really well, particularly this one. How about that? Give all of these a quick wet. Trying to be careful not to drown these ones because we've got this far. We don't have any casualties at the last hurdle before I repot them all. But any repotting can wait till after the heat wave. Outside any newer plants are best to move into shady areas because they're the ones that are going to need that bit more care and attention. More established plants should be absolutely fine and should be able to cope with the conditions a lot better. And don't forget when you are watering them to do it early morning or evening. If you water them at the hottest part of the day, that teaches your plants that they're going to get water when it's really, really hot and that could cause them to wilt. Don't forget to move any exposed roots out of the sun and you could use some mulch to cover this over and to help stop the water from the soil evaporating. If you've got the hose pipe ban where you are, you can stick your watering can or a bucket in the shower while you're in the shower and it will catch any water that you can then use on your plants. And that's a great thing to do first thing in the morning when you have a shower before work or last thing at night. And don't worry about a bit of shampoo or any soap in there, it won't do them any harm whatsoever. It might help keep the bugs at bay as well. The only thing you don't want to use that water for is anything that you potentially would be digging up to eat without cooking it first, like herbs and salads and things like that. And my last tip is to give your plants a bath. So this hydrangea from outside was looking a little bit sorry for itself. As you can see, there's some signs of stress. We've got the yellow leaves. Flowers are starting to die and drop off. So this is gonna need a really, really good soak. You could, of course, use your old bath water and then bring the plants in and sit them in it. You can see here that the water hasn't gone into the soil straight away, and that's because the soil is so dry it's not taking it. So by soaking it in the bath, that's going to allow the soil to take in all of the water and then the roots will take it into the plant. And just the same as the shower, there's absolutely nothing to stop you from using your old bath water after you've had a bath. So those are all of my tips for helping your plants survive the heat wave. I hope you found them useful. And don't forget you could use these if you are going on holiday soon, or if you're gonna be away from home for any time when the weather's going to be hot and dry. If you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe. I'm posting new videos every single week. And please do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'd love to hear what you're doing to keep your plants happy during the heat wave. So if you've got any additional suggestions or tips, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And it's well worth having a read down in the comments as well, because I know that you guys always come up with the best tips. So thank you so much for those. I hope you're having a really brilliant week, whatever you're up to and your plants are okay. And I hope that you're surviving the heat as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.
Bye. So those are all of my tips to help your plant survive the heat wave. And don't forget you could always use trouble with filming with the windows open. Actually, that's quite a lot. Was that there the whole time? Oh, you didn't see it, did you? Did you see that? Oh, I just have to go with this. This is the thing, sweating from the chest bone. That's definitely new. Right, thumbnail. How are you going to do this? I mean, this is quite a nice way to spend the heat wave. Way to cool down. You are a bit hot today. Get in the bath under a cold shower. But we better get on with the rest of the video. Oh dear. And what do the neighbours think of this?